everybody, Wild Rose Haven, and uh, this is the What's Going On Neighbours segment. About the homesteading. Homesteading. So, anyway, what the hell is going on? Um, you said sabotage? I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, let's talk about vice president. Sabotage. What's the sabotage? On the vice presidency? Mm. Oh my gosh. Really? Wild Rose Haven, homesteading. Which one are we talking about? Camel or are we pick... talking about Walls? <laughs> oh, we're really... Okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. Potential vice presidents. <laughs> Let's go that way. Oh, sorry. You go. I got confused. Yeah. I am a woman. I can easily get confused. So what is going on with JD? What's going on with... Because uh, I'm new to the whole thing. Tim Walls. Music. Anyway, back to topic. Oh, oh. Uh, did we just... J.D. Vance side. has been out and about everywhere, really, it seems. He's well, always all on the news right now. Well, yeah. I mean, who is he with, though? He's with Trump. And what does Trump do and has always done? He goes out and about with the people, and he talks to everyone. He meets with everyone. And he's not afraid to answer questions. And he's not also afraid to call BS when he, when he's, he knows it's being dished out to him. So that's what is really cool about JD Vance is that he does the same thing and but he's just a bit more on the <coughs> how do you say he has a bit more I think it's because he was a lawyer and because he was, was a he not? yeah he was because he was he has he has or he has lawyer education that he knows how to be able to talk with people without trying to push buttons necessarily or like you know he's not he's not um he's not new york businessman mm. he's not a new yorker yeah he's a midwesterner right right and so he's he, he comes he comes across it with a bit more um yes sir yes ma'am whereas trump is like oi you know well that no that, that no, was that, that, that was a londoner sorry yeah. <laughs> that was a that was a Vinny. That was not um, that was not a New Yorker. I don't know what the word is. That's that's the problem. Down to earth. No, it's not common a, person. Not common. No. Oh, well, you mean you know what I mean? It's no, not, regular. not common. No, he no he just like I almost want to say PC, but that sounds bad. <laughs> At the same time, you know what I mean. It's like he, he's trying to make sure that he's not uh, he's not going to be upsetting someone when he says something, and that's not it's not always necessarily good, the way I I put it. But it's like it's it's he's not being as blunt. Let's put it that way. As he, Trump, as Trump, Trump yeah. is a bit more blunt. Okay. And so uh, and so he doesn't you know he he has more of a he has more of a he comes off more of a gentleman which that might offend Trump and I'm not trying to offend Trump. That's not the case at all. It's like when I, when I start getting upset, okay. When he says something that totally triggered me and he knows he's triggering me and I just, I kind of like come off and say something because I'm upset. And so I'll just say what's off, you know, exactly what you hurt my feelings sort of a way. Um, and Trump kind of does that, you know, he gets like, that was a problem with the debate. He ended up, uh, Camel after a while, and this is like, you know, you're really patient, 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 but after a certain amount of digging, as much as he's been through, it's like, I'm surprised the man isn't like snapping off more often. Oh, well, yeah, three on but, one, really. And then he got, he was ganged on during that debate, yeah. absolutely. So the thing is that he ended up like letting her get underneath his, her skin. And that was one of the things that I wanted to bring up. You didn't really want to talk about the debate, but I want to talk about the debate. And this is one of the things that I also noticed about it is that she, did that look and I think she was doing it on purpose she kept on looking at him while he was talking and he would not look back at her and how I looked at it this is my perception of it was that the reason why he didn't bother looking at her is because of the fact that he actually doesn't have much respect for her and she was looking at him on that and I'm thinking like from the prosecutor's point of view she's trying to play the jury right so the jury is the voters and so she's trying to play the jury by looking like oh look as a woman i'm looking at this man talking to him and what happens when a man ignores a woman that tells everyone that that man does not like her 
And so when those other feelsy people is watching the juries that she's trying to get the heartstrings pulled on, they're going, oh, look. And that's what ended up happening at one of the, uh, the little, the little, whatever they did, the little town halls that they were watching, the watch committees that they had afterwards where they had all the end of, end of oh, I mean the spin room things? No, it wasn't a spin room. It was like they had, it was like on Dr. Phil. It was oh, on oh, Dr. Phil's show. Um, they had, you know, voters that were, the undecided were watching, supposedly undecided, were watching the debate and they got the question and answers afterwards. And so one of them said, well, that's what how they felt. And of course it was a person of color. He got up there and goes, well, I felt like it, Trump was being really, uh, disrespectful to her because she was trying to talk to him and look at him while she was talking and he kept his face away from her the whole time and that was just so disrespectful anybody else that thinks it was not fair uh tonight okay stand up and we'll bring a mic right to you go say your first name my name is michael i feel like donald trump was just cutting off kamala and really just wouldn't even look at her or give her any respect at all to talk and I feel like if that was me to be up there I would want that same respect and I just feel like he didn't give it to her all right and how about the moderators do you think they were being even-handed with both candidates I feel like they were being even but at the same time I feel like Trump was cutting them off a lot and just going over time just trying to get his point out and yeah I just feel like he wasn't being very respectful at all okay how many of you agree with what uh what was your name Michael. Michael. How many of you agree with what Michael is, being, is saying? That he wasn't being respectful, okay? How many of you think that matters, whether he was being respectful or not? Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe a third of you, okay? All right, who else has a comment on the fairness of what went on tonight? And that's what I felt like she was trying to do. She was trying to play the jury. She was trying to play the voters because she wanted to get that reaction. She wanted the feels good, the feelsy feelsy on the other side to go, oh, he's being so disrespectful to her. He's showing that he does not like her at all. He can't even give he can't even give her eye contact. And if you're dealing with somebody professionally, usually that's the one thing that you're number one thing that you're taught to do is that you're you're taught to do eye contact with that person to be able to establish that you are paying attention to what that person is saying to you, especially if you're someone that's trying to sell a product to them. And so you want to make sure that you're not being showing disinterest if you're not showing them eye, eye contact when you talk to them or in a debate too. That's all. Do you think that was that a, it's a also the way of not, um, it, it was also another, another way of also showing that even if you don't like that person, it's a way of showing that you're you can you can handle it you can stand them you can you know you can handle the confrontation it's like i can still look at you even though you don't like me that doesn't scare me that doesn't bother me at all do you think you know, that was that's a, what, a that's purposeful what that is. play is another way to take away from the fact that she wasn't actually answering the questions was that people were just thinking well look what she's she's looking she looks so well she's what, what is it uh, what attorney generalish whatever whatever she was like a prosecutor prosecutorish yeah. yeah yeah she was an agent and so you could just sit down well just, she was oh, yeah oh, she oh. was trying to look yeah she was trying to uh, i think but I, all, but I honestly feel like that was the other thing she was trying to do that she was trying to pull the heartstring situation and i don't know if that person was a plant by saying that and making it raising it out there and putting it out there to the you know the, everyone all the people that are watching the reactions and finding out well how did you feel about it but all I can say is by the end of that, end of that question and answer, hands up and hands down, everybody at the end agreed on one thing, which was confusing to me. Like there was a few people that seemed like it was halfway between Kamala and halfway between Trump. But at one point I felt like everybody was on Trump's side because they felt like they, everything was better at one point under, with a better economy. Let's put it that way. So, okay. Next debate is October first, yes. Vice presidential debate. Oh, speaking of guns. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, so we talked about JD Vance, and what about Tim Waltz? Yeah, I was asking you about that. Like, oh, uh, have you not? We haven't heard. Have, you haven't heard. Is anything. he a ghost in the machine now? I mean, what? Where, where the hell is the dude? Well, I think that the problem with Tim Waltz right now is that he's actually starting getting a lot. He's getting a lot of. Um, 
negative feedback. One started with his family, started not to endorse him. And then on top of it, when Kamala wouldn't answer the question about abortion and not knowing if the if any of the states have a nine month uh, abortion term. Um, and she said, no, she didn't know of any state. She goes, that's not true. That's not true. whatever she was doing. I don't know what she was doing, but that's she was basically denouncing Trump when he was bringing that up. And the funny thing is that we just heard today, because I didn't bother looking into which state. I was thinking about it, but I didn't have time for it. Uh, which states were actually allowing a late-term abortion up to nine months after the baby is born. And it's funny enough, Minnesota is one of those states. And who's the governor of Minnesota right now? Governing it and actually advoc uh, totally advocating abortions right now is Tim Walls. So that makes you want to question like okay so are you saying that you you definitely didn't know that there was no states as vp as long as you have been and sitting there talking about advocating for abortion this whole time because that's that's basically what her platform is about if you look at all of her policies that she has available did you look at her policies on her website Who? Kamala did you look at trump's does she even have any did you look at trump's no okay. i don't need to look at trump's he tells you what they okay. are okay but did you look no. Okay, I did. So when I went on there, and if you look at our, uh, I think it was our last, it might have been our last video that we had. I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to have it linked up here somewhere. Otherwise, look in our playlist. It's in there. Um, that I went and I showed the different uh, websites. I had Kamala's website and I had Trump's website, and you'll see the first things that are listed on their policies of what they want to tackle, right? And so on Kamala's. <clears throat> Sorry. I got air coming in. Dry my mouth out. Hold on. Okay, on Kamala's website, um, she was oh my gosh. It was I, I don't know it I don't know it word for word, but it was I'm pretty sure it was like her uh oper uh, opportunity economy thing she's freaking trying to talk about um abortion was up on the top everything else except for the economy except for the immigration except for uh taxes except for uh taking care of our vets except for i mean all of the really hot the main things that everyone is concerned about and is the reason why they want to vote for trump the really important things like that's we going to be able to keep the roofs are over our head she said the housing it's like you want to you want to give everybody money for houses for first time buyers only supposedly but we know how that's working out go check out california what they were trying to pull because that's exactly what the, that's where that money was going to go to the illegal immigrants um that she was sitting there and she was saying that she wanted to uh do those things for you know those those were the most important things on her policies but on Trump's, I mean, he was talking about the economy. Everybody's talking about the economy. Everybody's talking about illegal immigration, which ties into our economy right now, which also ties into our healthcare situation that she's also trying to make free for everybody. I mean, but it's all it's all tying into that it ends up working between those three things because it goes back where the illegal immigrants go into our they're getting all the health care, the the public health care, and that's also increasing our inflation and increasing the ta the use of money with our taxes our american tax dollars are right now funding the illegal immigrants that she does not want to she does not want to send back home at all she's keeping them here because they're using them as a way which is another thing that we talked about was that we figured out i what i didn't really realize is that this whole time the reason why Dem i believe my personal opinion that the Democrats have been reigning in California for so long and possibly any of these other big blue states is because of the fact that they have been allowing illegal immigrants to vote in not only their local, well, in their local, uh, which they're allowed to, in their, in their local no. council. Yes. They I think if you live in the state, you can vote local. You just can't vote. It, okay. You know what? No. If you're an illegal citizen, what get, you have no right to vote. Legal in our in our country period in our, in our, any of the states, I mean that's the, that's the only reason. Or is it why. just legal legal non citizens? It's 
le- as, if you're a legal immigrant, I would see that be a possibility yeah, in a could. local state because you actually are. But that's the other thing you find out that these the illegal immigrants are getting driver's licenses. They're getting uh, they're getting social security cards as well, which is how they're that's why they've been talking about well they're paying to the tax system. It's like well how are they getting social security cards? You're basically making them a legal person. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I would just I would stop that from happening because that makes sense. I mean, you ask me, well, you ask me a question. Would you stop that? Yeah, okay, because that doesn't make sense. Why would you let somebody oh, illegally I get, be able to do these things? I guess illegally? if you come in and claim asylum, right? The rule is if you claim asylum and you, you get granted be, asylum. That's, that's, but that's yeah, but not, uh, the veteran was old. That was old back when Trump was okay, in power. Now you don't need that. Okay, you just need to say, hey, uh, I need asylum, and they go, oh. Here's some money and a phone okay, and um, here's a work permit. And if they give you a work permit, they're going to give you a social security number so they can collect taxes off the work you do. And but, therein um, lies the problem. Right. That's how they're doing. And what happens when you go get a driving license? You, you get the Don't registration they... to vote. Oh, exactly. And that's the problem. Also, that's what they were saying is like, how many, how many people have you been finding illegally voting? Well, in Texas just take like a twenty thousand, a million, or something million off the voter rolls. Yeah, and so and that's I mean and that's what I'm talking about. They need to quit doing those sort of things, which is uh, which is not conducive for what we do here as illegal American citizens. I mean, we are not even allowed to go. Did you know that Kamala Harris wouldn't allow any illegal immigrants, especially without a, uh, without identification? They weren't allowed in. So why weren't they allowed into her rallies? But she's going to allow them into our 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 cities, our rural areas, our you know our our state in general. Why is that okay? But this she doesn't consider them okay to be at a rally. And that brings me back to tying this up. Let's talk about the the vice president debate. When is that going to happen? If Tim Walz has fallen off the earth, he's not. He doesn't want to show his face anywhere because right now he's too much looking... communist ties to china exactly and the mong exactly oh yeah that's another thing we haven't even heard about the mong they're, they're like mong is like a big deal over in uh in in mid upper midwest minnesota right minnesota was it wisconsin, wisconsin right and they moved and took over huge North, northern, northern california. california they're buying up overpaying for plots of land they're growing weed essentially but well yeah no that's the basic crop but i think they're doing a lot of other they're shit pro- too right doing fentanyl by now yeah i mean another. yeah they're part of the they're part of the chinese but it's like a chinese cartel chinese drug cartel. cartel yeah there's like no and funny enough they, they were like big in minnesota yeah. funny enough tim waltz went to china a lot oh. funny enough oh, oh. uh you don't hear from him anymore and funny enough gonna have to just we'll be right back all right so did you know that kevin Harris? does not allow anyone that is illegal to go to her rallies. Do you also know that we are not allowed to travel anywhere without having our form of ID? However, the illegal immigrants are allowed to get on a plane without having any type of documentation. Did you also know that we are not allowed to what else are we allowed to do without a driver's license or some some form of id lots of stuff you got to have a form of id okay so, so what, you had to have a form of id to get into the rnc and the dnc you had to have id to get in so well but do they not allow the illegal immigrants at the dnc i mean they're so they're all promoting them they're all sitting there you know making this big stink like you know we're such bad american citizens that are totally saying no we can't we can't afford to have them in here right now we can't even afford to take care of ourselves so how is it how is it right for us to take on more responsibility that we know at the moment our nation can't handle that makes no sense so for excuse me so for her to go and and sit there and try to point fingers and make people look like they're they they don't get they don't care about anyone they don't have you know we don't have big enough hearts just because we're trying to say this economically it doesn't make sense for our nation to do that if we're going to do something like that we want to make sure we're going to do it right we're going to do it properly just like right. this analogy about the builder which one do you want you want the one that's going to say this is how much it's going to actually builder. cost yes your builder analogy a mechanic there was I thought it was a construction no. worker and not a builder a mechanic. a mechanic anyway one of those guys you know 
the one that has more the one that has more experience and it costs a bit more it's like who do you want to have do you want to have the person that's going to actually not you know doesn't matter is going to do the job and they know how much it's going to cost and at times you're going to have to say no it's over budget we can't afford this right now and if you want the things that you want to want what are the priority things that you want what are the main things that are important for you right now that is affordable on your budget that's what we're going to concentrate on making sure that you're have you're going to have and it's going to be done properly it's going to be done up to code and that's what you want you don't want someone that's going to sit there and make you and make you these empty promises and then have to do this mediocre half-assed job that you're going to sit there and two years down the road everything's going to start falling apart on you and then you can't get a hold of them to help you fix it they're nowhere to be found and then there you are stuck in the mud so now i've said that let's go on to talking about dating dance and tim Wallace's actual debate because we haven't heard anything i mean we've heard from jd vance and he's yeah, JD vance is everywhere yes. all the time he's he's wonderful he's and not I, scared he's not scared he'll talk to abc nbc cnn whatever other of the well, things i mean he doesn't he, he's not going i only talk to newsmax and fox and we'll he'll talk he, to anybody he, and right. what i like about him is the way he actually ended up saying that um he was went to a firefighter uh convention or something like that and he says oh we even have we even have like the negative the negative media here you know everybody's welcome and that's how he put it and he's and he just went on and and ended up just going with the rest of the ceremony and presenting himself like everyone's welcome everyone's allowed to have their their say because this is america we're allowed to be able to speak freely but i think you just said let me give you my pitch yes and that was it i mean it's wonderful and so uh, that's i mean that's but i think that's what's so wonder that's what's great about this the combination of trump and vance and i think he picked wisely i get why he picked vance in the end i mean he was i i get it i understand it i think he was he was trying to make sure he didn't look like he was going to appease the other the democratic vote by picking a woman by picking up someone of color like that's totally expected and if anything they're giving him a hot a lot of uh flack because jd vance was openly against he was like a never trumper at one point i guess yeah and so he went for the person that actually was the most difficult to pick as your vp i mean that man did he didn't want to have anything to do with trump yeah until he saw him do the job and then he, and said, he said the guy is doing the job you know what? That's what we need. That's what we need. What's more um, important? Okay, your let's talk about or... Tim Waltz. Tim Waltz. Yes. Okay. Oh, Tim Waltz is. Uh, well, what do you want to talk about, Tim Waltz? Well, I want to know where the hell yabbering. he is. I've been yabbering. Go ahead, tell. What do where you the hell is he? We haven't seen him. We haven't heard from him. Who knows? He's suddenly gone quiet. And uh, I think every time he comes out, he's under more scrutiny, and the more scrutiny he gets, the worse it gets for him. It's like uh, his brother said um he's not his family he's not going for him his family yeah he said uh, he 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 just he's basically a communist and uh thinking about it he's the governor of minnesota he's been to china what 30 times he's doing he's doing school trips and stuff but somehow the chinese party paid for his trip and in a few cases i think i don't know if it's all of them but it was in a few of them and we have the Hmong, which are a Chinese drug cartel. Uh, that we heard about like that we heard a about a while years ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. I mean, it's been a while. It Only a, when because we were, it was a thing about Northern California, and we were just, oh, what's going on over there? No, I, was, I listened to. I happened to uh, catch that uh, there was a, a journalist who's been. It's like on that California. Yeah, it was California. but we were looking at it because it was in California. Yeah, I we had it up moved to you. from California. We hadn't heard about it. So, what's going on over there now? As it turns out, they basically came from Minnesota and Wisconsin. Yeah, they're Wisconsin. in Wisconsin as well. And they migrated over and to... And they migrated over to California and... Northern California. And when they went to Northern California, uh, they are basically have taken over the whole northern sector now of California. And southern sector is uh, taken, by, taken over by the Mexican or the... Yeah, the Mexican cartels. Right. So they, they're the... The two separate entities of cartels right. that are running California at the moment. But but they were they were they came in apparently they they were I mean yeah, California is not cheap to start with, but I guess up in Mount Shasta area they were paying four or five times 
what your property was worth and buying a whole bunch of swaths of property. I mean, they're growing weed, all right, whatever. Uh, it's California, but there's all now it's gone into, I think, a lot of other stuff. Yeah, like you were saying fentanyl, uh, fentanyl more than likely have to. Well, have whatever. to because if they're yeah. Chinese. If they're Chinese connected, they'd have to be into that, right? Besides the regular, think. you know, human trafficking, sex trafficking, oh, yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. All, all of the all, yeah. all of the regular bordery so kind of, you know, and, common and, you know, everyday what's, stuff. What's crazy is that we can we're at, we're saying that like, you know, it's normal. It is not normal. That is that is a horrible that's that's a horrible situation that we're allowing to happen. And, you know, there's people that go in here and they want to say, oh, well, I want to vote for Campbell just because she's a woman. I don't, that's it. I, just because she's a woman and she's black. And those are the only two reasons that they feel like that person is capable and have the qualifications for you, running a country. Okay, but do you think they're shutting Tim Waltz up so that people don't dig too deep? I, I wouldn't In case, so as the governor of Minnesota, he kind of ignored the, the Hmong and the, all the sex trafficking and all that okay, stuff well, that was going on. And if, if you dig too deep, you're going to find things out well, on that note. Yeah. Y'all come back to Wild Rose Haven where we're doing it ourselves.